Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to start to wrap up the um, controller change. So, I, from the last video, I think you can see here, I've got everything cleaned up as I promised. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about what I did before I button it up. So, one of the things that I was talking about was mounting the Arduino and Shield on the back of the unit because I didn't want to mess around getting my hand and stuff in there but it, it just dawned on me I got a 3d printer so what I did is I 3d printed a carrier that was the same size as the board so it'll mount go just go right on the mounting lugs inside there uh, that match up with the old um, Moshi draw board or whatever the heck that board was so no problems there um, I'll put the the file out on either Thingiverse or Tinkercad so if, if you're looking for this, you can just download it, and it should fit your board. Um, so no problems there. So I really like that change. The other thing I did is, is I, I kind of vexed a little bit about what to do about the inverter. So for the con uh, laser controller for the uh, uh, spindle enable pin. So at the end of the day, just for the sake of speed, I just decided to use a terminal block and, and wire it in. Now, for those youngsters out there, there used to be a day when I started repairing electronics that this was all you had. Printed circuit boards were kind of a, eh, I would say a little bit of a rarity because uh, it's, you know, in the 60s. But uh, a lot of stuff, uh, especially out of the 50s, came nothing but wired with this. So, um, you know, no biggie. I mean, it's one transistor, a couple resistors. And so what I'm doing is I'm just biasing it with a 1, 1K resistor and doing uh, voltage separation with a 10k off an NPN transistor to create this logic inversion um, and then you know again it's uh, you know set up on here you know to the uh, spindle enable pin back in the earlier episode we changed it back to the garble 8 pin wiring with the variable spindle turned off so that's all good that's all works showed you that in the last episode the other thing I decided to do, which I thought was interesting, was this. Now, I am going to take this out and mount it on the back. What I've done is I've taken four lines out. So I've taken ground, I've taken uh, 24 volts positive, 5 volts positive, and the actual pin state from the uh, CNC shield. Now, why did I do this? The logic that, that I'm going to apply here is I'm going to add a solenoid to my uh, air assist. So it only fires when the laser is firing. So what I'll do is I'll take the logic from this pin and then um, use it to drive another relay, which can, if I get a 24-volt solenoid, I can just use the 24 volts right here because there's a lot of 24-volt solenoids out there, um, and do that. The other thing I'm going to do with the 5 volt logic line which is this yellow wire here is again use another one because I've got a bunch of those same smart relays I should have had one out um, but it's the same one I use for the CNC um, and so I'm going to use that to trigger the pumps and everything else so when this goes high when the, in other words when the machine gets turned on it'll trigger that relay and it'll turn on the air assist it'll turn on the uh, uh, water pump and then so it'll turn all that off when I turn the machine off it'll turn all those off automatically too and then again the logic state which is good because in this case the logic state on the CNC goes high when it's firing now the laser needs a low to fire uh, but I can use that again to drive that relay when it goes high to fire the solenoid for the air assist so it's in a positive state uh, why you would have something fire low, I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It seems just from a safety angle that it would fire high. Anyways, uh, neither here nor there. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck all this back up, and then uh, we're going to come back and we'll take one final look at everything. So, But again, before I tuck it all up, I wanted to kind of show you these pieces of what I've done. So again, I'm pulling my core signals out to this block, which will go on the back of the machine then this will go on the inside of the machine and again I 3D printed this up so it matches the, 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 the configuration and I think that's really about it I've cleaned up the wiring as you see you know so a lot of um, heat shrink, t heat shrink uh, tubing, zip strips you know wire harnesses so it all kind of cleans up nice and tucks in there good so let me go ahead and reassemble everything get it all in there and then we'll come back to close this out 
Okay, welcome back. Well, we got that all buttoned up. One of the things I did want to mention, I did have to remove these spacers to get uh, the board in there where the USB would sit down low enough to be able to be plugged in. So I, I removed the spacers and just left the, I, I just put one nut on top. Since it's solid plastic, there's no, I mean, you can just bolt it actually right to the, to the base, but there is a little bit of a lip on the back, so that gave me enough room. So just a little side note. So, uh, We've got everything running. Let's run a quick, our quick test job on it real quick. Like I said, quick too many times, but anyways. So the other thing I did, you notice the red aiming laser. I've added that to the five volts, so it's now powered directly by the machine itself, rather than the little extra battery pack I've been using before. So um, now it just comes on and stays on with the machine. So. You know, no biggie, there we go. So we run a first job. So that uh, pretty much wraps this up. Now I'm going to try to get all this documented um, on the website as well as the, the garble codes. The garble codes, though, might be a little bit of a work in progress. I'll put up there the existing ones I have now. I don't think they're perfect. You probably won't see this video for about... Uh, at least two weeks from me finishing it, maybe even four. So by that time, maybe I've, I'll have time to have worked out the um, uh, garble codes. If not, keep checking back, and also let me, you know, hit me up in the comments when this comes out um, as to the status if you're interested. They're really, really close. There's some stuff uh, you've probably heard a little bit of the noise on the stepper and everything. Um, I need to do a little bit more fine tuning on the acceleration. All the steps and everything I think so far right. I do have to run a calibration test on this to know for sure, but it seems it runs my, my 10, uh, 10 millimeter or one centimeter cube just fine. So I think it's, it's pretty good there. Um, however, the grinding of the motors has a little bit to do with the acceleration and, and also the, the um, step timing. So I got to adjust that a little bit. I think it's really, really close, but it's going to be a little bit of trial and error over time. So, anyways, I'll get that out. Uh, I can't think of really too much uh, anything else. So, the um, as far as the modification, it is definitely it's not a novice modification. So, if you're not familiar with um, microcontrollers, electronics, I, I wouldn't say attempt it. If if you're handy with electronics and have a good working understanding, and have done a little bit of circuit development yourself and everything, I would say go for it. I mean, it's it's well within reason. If I wouldn't have made a video out of it, I could have probably have done it in one evening, uh, swapped everything out, especially with the information you'll have on the website. Um, I did a lot of research again because a lot of the stuff was finding the, the uh, base garble commands. Now, what I did is I borrowed a lot from the smoothie board, um, but it's not the same. So it got me close, but now I have to fine tune that. And, and you know, some of the places had acceleration, some of the places had steps, and, and I kind of had to do a lot. But again, I'll, I'll have uh, links on the website to, to the garble code. So, anyways, find this interesting? Hey, give it a thumbs up. I put a lot of work in this one. Um, and subscribe to the channel. A lot more coming. Any questions? Hit me up in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.